It's okay. That's sagging. That sucks. I didn't even know that. Oh well. It does have a absolutely, I can't even get it in one shot here. A absolutely massive moonroof. I love that about this car. I really do wish I had the dark, darker brown interior instead of the tan because it looks so nice. Again, I can always change it if I want to. All right guys, so for this segment, I never really made any comments on what I was doing, nor did I make a intro for what I was doing here. So pretty much what we're doing here is removing the old fabric material off of the old backing piece for the headliner, because we still have to use that same backing piece. So I had to pull all the old stuff off, which was not too bad. The worst part was peeling all the old adhesive off behind the fabric. Wow. Junk. All right, guys, now we have the headliner roughly laid down, roughly cut out. It still needs to be properly tucked and fit and everything else. As you can see, we have to do a little more tucking, like I said, get it in the car and then start matching all the other pieces that are sitting all over there, which are still tan. Most recently, I pretty much just told you guys that we have got the new headliner for the Audi it is applied to the backing material that it originally had the video that you guys just saw of me ripping it off we literally reapplied it it's on pretty much the biggest issue is that we can't find readily available we can't find a correct die to match abc d pillars this is the d pillar right here i pretty much was looking everywhere to find a dark brown like vinyl die and couldn't find anything. Ended up going to like a paint store. They specialize in uh, exterior and interior paint. And I ordered a few cans of the closest thing I could find. It was called like Bluebird Brown or something like that. Regardless, it's ordered. The only problem is that was five days ago and they haven't called me yet. And they told me they would call me as soon as they got the paint in for the dye. I mean, um, and nothing yet. So I haven't had a video out to you guys in a while, and this is um, one of the reasons on why. Um, stuff is just taking too long to get here, to get done, whole bunch of stuff. So hang with me. I really do appreciate you guys. The final product's gonna be really cool. I think you guys are gonna like it, but I'll pick you guys back up when we actually get the dye. We did indeed find the correct dye, and it took a while and we'll just say two of these cans was like 50 bucks and i think i'm gonna need more than two cans i'll be honest it it's not looking like two cans is gonna cut it but i will show you guys um some of the pieces i have sprayed and how they look here's a few right here this is their first coat nothing crazy yet that was my number one main concern is this thing is this gonna match the headliner at all because it has to do the accessory pieces the a b c d pillars all of that. First time painting this stuff, let's see how it takes it. Yeah, it'll take it all right. It's gonna take more than two coats on this stuff, that's for sure. And what's weird, when you first spray this stuff, it looks like there's contamination in it, like the paint can't stick right, because it's all like blotchy. But it's weird because as it dries, does not do that. I should have separated them further apart from each other. Because now the ones and the wind's messing me up. You guys get the point. I'll catch you back when this is all done. All right, guys, we are back. It's about an hour or so after that. Those pieces that I just showed you guys, they are dry. And on top of that, we also have this piece right here, which is going to be the most pain in the ass part of this entire thing because i have to mask off these little like kind of like machined aluminum whatever yada yada surfaces the indicator right here this guy for the dome light right here i'm gonna continue painting the rest of the pieces and i'll pick you guys back up once we're done with those all right guys we are finally done the car is sitting behind me right now the car is a hundred percent done it looks so good i can't wait to show you guys but real quick i just wanted to add up a tally of how much this cost me to do because if you guys were looking to do something similar it'd roughly be about this amount of money on the screen right now is all of the supplies and materials i needed in order to do this i'm not counting labor 
because you know you're if you're doing it yourself or whatnot if you paid somebody to do this it would be considerably more expensive I mean, that goes for anything really but all in all I believe the total was around 250 to 260 I'd say roughly around there that is not bad for damn near a full interior refresh like it's I I, I don't know you, you can't even really get closer to a whole refresh than what we got going on here let me just show you guys what we got So what I pretty much ended up doing, if you couldn't tell from the pictures before, I went with a two-tone. Now, how the headliner used to look before, it was like a tan, beige, desert tan, it, not, not even that really. I'd say more beige, ugly, ugly, and the headliner was falling down. It looked terrible, and I was gonna be like, hey, how about I just paint all of these plastics, for prime example, this center one right here, why don't I just paint it all the same color but I'm like oh that'd be kind of cool maybe the accents right here would look cool in the original color and they do <laughs> the accents look pretty like it, it, it fits because I, I wasn't gonna go ahead and do the whole dash and the um, like the kick panel areas and the lower a pillars and the uppers but not the lowers and if you do the whole top in this one color I feel like it would have a hard time flowing with the rest of the interior that is still like a darker shade of what it used to be. And I think it came out great. I think the contrast between the two is perfect. They go, The two colors go very well together. I am extremely happy with this. I mean, it, it made the car look so much nicer. It made the car look so much newer. It made the car look so much more well maintained because the guy who had it before me, pretty much use this as like it's family hauler. So you're talking all the plastics in the back were all scuffed up and they had like blue marks on them if you guys remember. It just looked really bad and it looks so good now. So I highly recommend you guys, if you have an interior that is close to well, what mine was really, go do it. It doesn't cost all that much and it makes the car look so much better. It makes it look 10 times better. Here's a before of what this interior used to look like. And then now, the after. It looks so much better. It's insane. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos coming over the Audi here. We still have more stuff going on with this thing. And we still got more stuff going on with the Monte Carlo. Stay tuned for that. And my 1980 Trans Am Resto Mod is going to be freaking sick when it's done. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see all you guys in the next one.